Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, I will show you how to create and this type of navigation drawer in Android Kotlin. So as you can see, when we click on this floating button, we uh, the, this uh, expands this navigation drawer, and when we again click on that minus uh, icon, it uh, collapses that uh, navigation drawer. So this type of navigation bar we are going to create in our today's tutorial. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. In order to create this type of navigation drawer, we need to use some external libraries, right? So just go to Chrome and search for the floating, floating navigation view and you'll get this library which is created by Andrew Mion, right? So just go below and uh, let's start including this library into our project. So just create the empty Kotlin project and then copy this dependency and paste it into your build.url file under dependencies section. After pasting it, just sync your project. After successful syncing, your empty project will be ready to build that uh, such type of navigation drawer. So let's start by designing our layout, right? So just go to main uh, activity XML layout file, and here uh, first of all we will create a top navigation top action top toolbar or action bar whatever you may call this. So this one we will create this, and below that we will create a toolbar, which is this one. And after that, uh, we will add this floating action button. These are the normal layout uh, components which we add while uh, creating any type of navigation or normal navigation. So we are doing it here custom manually, right? So add this floating navigation view and uh, assign the parameters as per your wish, whatever you want. For the, uh, it should be displayed at the top corner of right. I had given it gravity, so it is displayed like that, right? And then I had created one more menu file which is here under which is here under menu directory navigation view right so i had uh, created here menu tag and I, in that i had created a group of items uh, which are nothing but uh, the uh, uh, options that will be displayed in navigation browser right so and after that i had created two more files for the content main xml which will uh, this, uh, which will contain the uh, the back layout of our uh, this uh, uh, app, right? And then one more file I am having that is navigation view header, which will contain the top uh, part of my navigation drawer. Uh, I'll show you what that. So this is this one, this part, this part contains my header file, right? So this is here. And after that, let's go to our main Kotlin file and let's do some coding related to this library. So, I how to use this library. For that, I had uh, declared here the variable of my floating uh, button, floating navigation button. And after that, I had uh, added my toolbar to this uh, my project. And then I had given the ID to the, my uh, floating navigation view, which I had created into my main file. This one, right? So I have created a project variable, and then I had uh, perform on click listener on that uh, uh, navigation view, and then I had called the method with that open, which means when I click on that navigation button, at that time it will open my navigation bar, navigation drawer, right? And after that, I had uh, yeah, I am performing the operation. What I want to do when I click off, uh, click on any one of the option of from my navigation drawer, so. Uh, I'll use the method of set navigation item selected listener and after that uh, on any uh, this is uh, the method that I'll call and then it overrides the method of on navigation item selected and then the, uh, by accessing this item variable we can uh, get the uh, count of the option which I had uh, clicked recently right so I'll display it inside my snack bar uh, so as the proof that I had clicked at that option and uh, instead of that bar, you can pass the intent if you are having more segments uh, that you want to navigate. So I'll just be certain uh, just an snack bar for this tutorial. So I had created here this snack bar, uh, and I had passed the variable as item dot title dot two string. This means it will display the uh, title of that option uh, in snack bar with uh, selected uh, string, right? So dot show. And then when we uh, after clicking after showing this snack by it, the navigation drawer will be closed. So that I had called the close method. And then one more method is override that is on back press. When I click on the on back press at that time, if the navigation drawer is open, it will be closed. Right? 
So in this way it works. Uh, it's very easy to implement this library. Uh, let's see how it works. So as you can see, when I click on my this button, enter can navigation uh, dollar has been appeared. And when I click on any of the option, it will print the name of that uh, option in the snack bar with the selected uh, string. For example, that's why if I click slide show. So in this way, we can implement this library in Android Kotlin. The same way you can also implement it in Android Java. Uh, just you need to change some uh, syntaxes. But if you want the ready-made program of uh, which built in Java, you can just visit this uh, library and just download the project from your sample project, which is uh, already written in Java. I created the 